Hello, 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 and welcome back to the continuing adventures of Mewtwo as he treks through the dungeon where last we left off Mewtwo was kicking all sorts of hell uh, in the vaults. And let's have him continue doing just that. Uh, let me double check my skills. Everything looks good. Yeah, alright. We're good. Uh, ooh, we already got all the repulsion stuff we need, so let's drop a couple freezing clouds. Uh, okay. That melted my icy armor, and yet my AC remains high. Good to know. Come on. Let's drop a icicle on your ass. Oh, too far out of way? Fine. One more ice ball. There we go. That should do it. Icicle. Icicle. Game! Yeah, we can skip that. Repel missiles and fire some icicles at all of you guys. Repel missiles, ice armor, drop an ice cloud. Another ice cloud. Bitch, you're not going to survive this. You might as well just surrender to my icicles. There you go. As a good boy. Zone of fire. Oh man, you went the wrong way. Turn on the AC. Up to 12. So yeah, I am adjacent to my fires and not suffering uh, instant melting of the armor. So that, that was a little bit concerned, but uh, no, it, it appears that is uh, in fact not a factor. That said, if you do get hit by fire attacks, your ice armor tends to... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, wasn't paying attention. I took, uh, two rounds of actual combat damage. I need to run away. Don't want to die. That would have been a hell of a way to actually lose the game. So much for face tanking all of that. Swiftness, repel, uh, swiftness and armor. Uh, we'll worry about repel missiles on a case-by-case -case basis. Again, I'm just dodge tanking. And let him take let let him go down. Fire ice. Fire ice. Ice ice baby. Ice. Ice ice baby. Swiftness. Repel armor. You name it, I got it. Flayed ghost, we're gonna take down with icicles. Magic darts for the kobold. And keep building the armor. Okay, so far so good. Any new jewelry? Nothing of note. There we go. There's nice ice. Excellent. Drop a few fire zones. Drop some armor, swiftness, and just wait. Booyah, take down. Swiftness, uh, drop an ice zone. Excellent. Excellent, drop an ice skull. Icicle, icicle, boom. Yeah, pretty much so So far so good. Uh, I have the right tools to take down most of these situations. Ooh, new, new scroll? I'm going to go ahead and ID this one just so I don't have to look at it again. I don't want to pop that potion, so let's... That was probably a shapeshifter in all honesty. A lone hog is a pretty rare sight. Drop me a orb of destruction. A few fires to... Oh, that's already clouded. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. How's everything going here? Spell cast, all good. How about we do for spell levels? Three left and regeneration is not available. Have I already memorized it? I have. It's H. We'll remember to use that. Excellent! Just curious. 88% fail in improving. Good news. 
uh, dropping an ice storm, that's probably going to shatter at least one or two experience, uh, or potions, in fact. Nope, nothing. Good. Another ice zone. I sincerely hope I'm not shattering uh, potions, but it is a risk. Given the way I'm playing this. Oop, mass confuse, that should do it. Go ahead and... Ah, god damn it, nauseated. More icicles. Kill the priest with the icicle again. And just proceed, proceed, proceed. Uh, wow. Yeah, so icicle is actually more effective against most of these mid-tier enemies than orb of destruction is. Just because... I, I mean, it misses every uh, on occasion, but it's got it hits a lot too. Even against cold resistant enemies, it has a physical component because you're hurling a giant piece of ice at them. And um, uh, hunger wise, it's free, which is a huge plus for long term use. Ooh, definitely want repel missiles before I ice that hallway. And uh, I'll icicle this hydra to death. Yeah, and orb of while orb of destruction is obviously better for I need to deal a crap ton of damage right now. Um, they both have their place, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, let's get out of the way here, and definitely an ice zone to multi-hit. Perfect. Seriously, what can I eat? I don't. I have chunks. Like there you go. Eat chunks. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not wrecking potions when I do this. Yep, I'm good. Drop a fire zone in front too, and oh, armor up. And hey, level up! Excellent! Icicle to kill that last one. Ooh, yeah! What was this? Hollow blades. And we have a new piece of jewelry, so, uh, overall very good. Acha acha, hey. Which is as close as I get to saying very good in Urdu. Or this is very good in Urdu. Okay, firing on you, and let's ID this amulet. Clarity! Hooray! Now if I become a kitty lich, I can do something about it. I'm not going to be a kitty lich. That That's way too much. Although, seeing the animation for a kitty lich would be pretty badass. Not going to lie. Okay. I walked into a clusterfuck. I do have swiftness. I do not have repel missiles. Turn on repel missiles before I walk out of here. And now we'll turn on ice armor and start dropping ice zones. I'm pretty sure the golems are immune to elemental damage, not just resistant. Yes, immune to elemental damage. So all that is going to do nothing. I'm going to have to OOD repeatedly to take them out. And that's fine. I can do that. I just want to know for sure I'm doing the right thing. That's a full length of the screen. And it still takes three of it. So, yeah, it's going to take a lot of mana to take down those uh, iron golems. It's a damn good thing I knew what I was getting into. Can you imagine not knowing that enemy, encountering that, that cluster, and then spamming uh, Ice Cloud before you realize that, oh, whoops, I'm not dealing any damage because of immunity? But no, I, I probably got rid of the actuars and uh, thinned out the numbers pretty significantly with my initial icing. Alright, let's get way the hell out of the way. Turn on that ice armor while I regenerate mana. Perfect. And then uh, we'll go back into the fray. Repel missiles is a must. Drop an ice zone. Things are going to die. And of course they do with much aplomb. Tag, you're it. Come catch me. Oh, did I tell you this was the surprise round where Orbs of Destruction slammed your fucking face repeatedly? Icicle to finish the job. Like I said, Icicle may be part ice, but there's irresistible... Well, not irresistible. There's also just flat physical damage from having hurled a giant shard of ice or something. Alright, look, if you intercept that, you're going to be dead in one shot. Whoa, what the hell? That was a fireball. Take you out. I hope that you left a chunk. You left no chunks. 
And I can't really afford this now. That was incredibly stupid. I risked my life for food, which is a stupid reason to risk your life. Uh, the fact that I lived thanks to my massive uh, evade is just luck. Let's go ahead and make that massive evade even more massive. I want to hit 40, so that's another four, four levels or so of dodging. I can definitely do that. Because it's, it's also a really good plus. I think there's like a plus three to it. Yeah, and I'm naturally a good dodge size, because small creature. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and peg you a couple times until you go down. Whoa, okay, you're not going down. Uh, you're in fact searing me with silver on account of the fact that I'm triply mutated. So, repel, swiftness. I want to heal wounds once, and then orb of destruction at melee range. That, that did it in fact, but wow, that was, uh... I didn't realize just how vulnerable I was to, uh... But yeah, silver bolts deal more damage the more mutated a uh, creature is. And seeing as how I have three positive mutations... Oh! Interesting. Uh, that was a pretty cool little uh, uh, dealie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hope this is good. Ice, strength, and intelligence. That's a hell of a ring. Well, for, for starters, we can get rid of my ring of ice now because it's totally superfluous. Uh, strength and int are both wonderful traits to have. Problem is, it will make me vulnerable to fire, and I will never be able to take it off, because if I do, I will instantly be overburdened, because four strength loss is a lot for this character. If I can find a way to become resistant to fire, uh, I'll definitely wear it. So we'll keep it... For now, I'll just see if there's an RF either. Nope, okay. Uh, meanwhile, let's put all of my buffs on before I open this door. Oh, it's just a way back, okay. Rod is useless, barding is useless. Wow, so much good stuff, though. I'm going to drink of the water before I get out of there. Oh, Francis, you poor, poor soul. Let's go ahead and put on my Ring of Ice over my Ring of Evade for the moment. Back off just long enough to make sure that Francis has space. And then... Boom! That's how hard I hit with my icicle. Thanks to the ice, uh, intent. I can actually just take this guy out with icicles. That's that's pretty huge. I did not expect that, to be completely honest. And that's something that's immune to ice damage, mind you. Uh, repel and get out of here. Took a lot of damage and probably lost some interesting scrolls. But, okay, just get out of here. Repel is still up. Uh, in fact, why don't you mark both these stairs as do not enter. Until I manage to clear it out, I can't trust that I won't die from entering that staircase. And this is again why you put on buffs before you go down a staircase. If I had had repel missiles on before I went down, odds are good I would have taken significantly less damage. All right, all those things should disappear instantly since I killed their summoner and. In future editions, that is, in fact, how this game works. <clears throat> okay. Swiftness. Repel. Everything. Hell, regenerate. Why not? I'm fully functional. Uh, repel is still on. Okay. Drop an ice zone. I don't feel comfortable that that's, there's just going to be one of them. So I'm going to want to retreat a little bit. There was, in fact, just one of them. Hmm. How quaint. Is there an ice cloud here? No. Okay. Pell. Armor. Ice. I wish I knew it was sophisticated enough at programming the game to change my auto run to include uh, keeping my swiftness activated. That would be a really cool buff change. I know how to make it interrupt me every time swiftness goes out. But that's too much work. Definitely repel missiles. Hooray! Survived my first volley. Drop an ice zone and back off. Once I broke line of sight, another ice zone. And if they try to pursue, a third ice zone. So that's that's deaths. 
One of them is still alive, I think, and the rest are down. A couple icicles to soften up my target. Swiftness needs to be on before I zone of ice to take out these fire guys. There we go. That's that's more like the number of icicles I would expect it would take to take this guy out. Lots. I must have had some lucky damage rolls from before. As best I can. That's the best I can come up with. All right, what we got here? Unknown scroll. It is the holy word, and that word is la ilaha illallah. Uh, dropping zones on everything, getting into play, and boom, everything goes down. Perfect. So, so far so good. Repel missiles, armor. Vehement would be pleased at the destruction I have wrought. Next floor. Uh, repel again. Orb, 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 orb down. Oh, not orb, eyes. I accidentally hit ZD instead of what I wanted to do there, so had to go upstairs instead of finishing my job. Any food stolen from me? I don't see anything. So, cool. Let's go ahead and eat. Wait. Any block? No, no block staircases, so try a new door down. And again, I always try the new door down because you just know there's going to be enemies waiting for you the place you just left. Repellent armor. Uh, I might actually need a new curing potion. Nope, I'm good for curing potions for the moment. I'll always be happy for another identify. And there's a yellow potion that I'd like to identify, so... I win both ways. ID this potion. Strong poison. I'm glad I ID'd it. Might have needed a curing potion otherwise. Repel. Swift. Armor. Go into combat. Peg you with ice while you peg me with failed attempts at throwing rocks at me. Get my buffs back up. And zombie is going to take a lot of ice. Well, not that many icicles. Armor. Armor. Nope. Get get to safe ground first, and then armor. Repel missiles. Armor. Ice blasts. Both buffs are still up. Ice blast. Armor's back up. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker. Uh, drop some ice zones. We'll drop one behind two. There we go. That's a lot of ice zones. That should kill most of them. And for the ones that's left, he has no brain, so he'll walk right into what's left. Icicles versus fire is very effective. Repel, swiftness, armor, and ice peg you. Definitely want to drop the ice zone. Okay, that's a trick. I have low mana and I just encountered a dragon. Take a step, close the door, get the hell out of dodge. Fill up my mana. Again, I'm treating up staircases like they're max regen because they basically are. Swiftness, and I'm going to want repel missiles pretty much at all times on this floor for the herds of Yakshuars, the occasional dragon the hurled rocks, you name it, uh, the, the, the centaur packs. Drop me some ice zones, nail those orcs immediately, and their chief shortly thereafter. The chief in this case being a knight. Okay, go to angle for an orb of destruction with a follow-up orb of destruction. Uh, repel missiles. Hail you. Drop some ice. Uh, just drop an ice zone, kill everything. Ooh, these assholes went around it. Clever girl. Butcher and chomp. Uh, I believe I was saving a- I wanted an amnesia for scroll for something specifically, I don't remember what. Probably, though, for sub and ice beast. Although until I'm ready to actually use the remaining spell slots, I'd rather keep the spell, so go ahead and drop that amnesia on the ground, and we'll come back to it later, eh? 
Ice, just ice, just ice rain everywhere, please. Rep uh, armor up. And just poke you with some icicles. Perfect! Hide, recover. Nom nom. Uh, repel, armor, icicle the hell out of you. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I know this is really short for a vid, but I'm really running out of time. So I'm going to do one more floor and then cut it right before the big entrance. And we'll worry about assaulting the vaults for the next time. Pell missiles was on, but I did not, in fact, have my armor for my increased blocks and damage mitigation. I can fix that. All buffs on. Nail you with some ice. <sighs> Requirement scroll unknown. Eh, pick it up, why not? What am I even trying to acquire? I don't really know. Let's find out. Yeah, see, that's the problem. There's basically nothing that I can acquire. I don't want to acquire food or a book. Miscellaneous, I don't even know what would qualify as miscellaneous. I'll probably end up with a crystal ball or something. Or I could go jewelry. Let's try for jewelry. Oh, I just realized I was still wearing my, uh, my make me vulnerable to fire dealy. That must be why some of these shots have been quite as painful as they have. Drop the Guardian of the Amulet Spirit. Put back on my Evade. Drop Sustenance since I don't really need it. I kind of do the opposite of that where I just eat as much as I damn well please. Uh, and of course the hunger is, or sorry, the increased weight from having taken off that ice strength ring is, is now showing its face. So. Repel, definitely. Swiftness, armor. There you go. Now what, laddie? Oh, laddie buck. Fire the orb of destruction. Followed by the oh shit bomb. Uh, that was a not a bad option for Pell missiles immediately. Followed by get the hell out of dodge till this thing shows up on my radar again with repel missiles active to help. Nope, it just died. Excellent. Uh, we're going to drop ice clouds all over the place. I don't recall if I've ever killed St. Roca. I think I did this game uh, in the Orcish Mines. If not, I need to be mentally prepared for him as a possibility for what what I will face. Oh, wait, that's a reaching weapon. Back off. There's, this is the reason why getting fighting on a cat is helpful. Without fighting, my health would have been closer to 50 right now. As in my max health. Which puts you at serious disadvantage for surviving even mild pokes, honestly. A repel. Blink. And fire the icicle cannons. Repel came on just a moment too late to prevent the poisoning, but it's not enough poison to really be concerned about yet. Uh, your draconian will be answered with an orb for instant destruction. Nope, it hit the wall instead, so fire a new orb and then an icicle. Icicles all the way. I don't pierce AC, but they do get the job done. Hey, come to me. Come to me, stupid snake. Perfect! Ah, ah, ah. And the floor is cleared. And that, unfortunately, is going to have to be my departure point. I hope you enjoyed watching this admittedly short video. Uh, next time when we pick up, we'll go on and fill it to the uh, Vault 8, I suppose. Or either that or I'll back off and do Snake. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time!